Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Be Is For Build. This one's a little bit different. We're not in uh, we're not we're not in Kansas anymore. We never were in Kansas. We're not in Oregon anymore. We're in Madison, Illinois, at an Indy car race. And today, I actually get to get in a two-seater Indy car and start this race. It's gonna be epic. Stay tuned. So like I said before, this is going to be a very new experience. This is something I've never done before. We partnered up with Honda to be here, and I get to ride in a Honda two-seater Indy car. We get to do a hot lap. We actually get to start the race in that thing. We're going to do a uh, lap in the Honda pace car around the track, uh, and I get to meet with some of the engineers that are behind the technology in Indy cars. So it's going to be really amazing. I want to thank Honda so much for sending myself and Chelsea out here for this like truly once-in-a-lifetime experience. I get to go faster than I've ever gone before with a professional driver in a two-seater Indy car. That's gonna be epic. Okay, we gotta run right now and jump in that pace car. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, getting this video kicked off quickly. What's your name? Jeff. Jeff, I'm Chris. This is Chelsea. Chelsea, nice to meet you. So we're in a Honda Accord pace car right now. And Jeff's job is to scare the <laughs> shit out of Chelsea. <laughs> yeah. Scare the crap out of Chelsea, sorry Honda. Yeah. <laughs> There's some tire squeal for us. This is so much fun. Just a little car sick. You can handle it. Alright, Jeff, thanks so much for the ride. That was awesome. That was so much fun. Honda, thanks for letting me take Chelsea out. That was her first time on a track getting to drive like that. It was pretty intense. That was a really good time. So next up, I think we're gonna meet with one of the engineers to talk about IndyCar and uh, kind of what makes them work, what makes them tick. Probably should have said this earlier. I'm gonna try my absolute best to include you guys in everything. This is gonna be like, hopefully a bit of a behind the scenes of what it's like to be back here at an IndyCar race and get to do some of this crazy stuff. So I apologize, I know the sound there was not gonna be working out. I'm sure there was too many race cars going on. Uh, that was me talking with Eric Bretzman, who is an engineer uh, and builds Indy cars. So I was really stoked. I asked Honda if they could get me in contact with these guys so I could pick their brain and just, well, not really pick their brain, but you know, learn a little bit about the engineering that goes behind building a race car in such a high power application like this. Uh, some of the really fun takeaways were that uh, the drivers have a button that they're allowed to use once in a while that they press that jacks up the boost on the car. So these are uh, V6 twin turbo cars. So they have a button, they hit that button and that basically changes the wastegates, jacks up the boost, they get a little bit of extra power to perform normally a passing maneuver during a race, which is pretty cool. There are no electronic aids in the um, suspension, but there are, well, there are electronic like driver control aids, which are really cool. So you can actually hit a button and then they can change their suspension settings by a button on their steering wheel as well. So there's nothing that's like completely computer automated. It's driver driven electronics further back really really cool and I was talking about like uh, frame and chassis construction and stuff like that and uh, no, to no surprise the whole car is built with carbon fiber construction and it's a bottom piece and a top piece uh, all carbon fiber and then they sandwich those things together they seal them together and that's what gets you basically the chassis of the car which is really cool and they use a bunch of honeycomb patterns on the inside uh, to protect the driver in the case of an accident so it stays in that one really rid rigid like big center piece to keep everybody safe really really cool and he said that they're also you know they're not really just using carbon fiber they're using all sorts of other mixtures of different things to help from anti-shatter to driver protection so things don't puncture all sorts of cool stuff so that was me nerding out on cars i know you guys like to know about the construction of cars and other stuff like that so uh that was really fun to to learn about next up i think i think we're gonna go meet my driver that's gonna drive us around in the honda two-seater today in between all the activities that we do, we have access to this really cool tent. I'm not allowed to show you guys it, but there's unlimited ice cream and cookies and cupcakes. All you can eat all day long. Chelsea and I had a pretty good time so far at the race and it hasn't even started. All right, 
told you guys this was behind the scenes. So this is the Honda trailer. Myself and Ari Jr. just got suited up. I'm gonna grab a camera and then we're heading out to the driver's introductions. And then I'll introduce you guys to Ari. Looking sharp, looking sharp. Yo! So we are with Ari Jr. right now. This is a guy that's got my life in his hands for the next the next one lap of my life. Oh, we're going four laps, right? Four laps. Four laps. We'll be safe though. Yeah, I'm not actually worried about it at all. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, driver's introductions. Be right back. Ari Leinstein Jr. And taking a ride in Honda's fastest season sports is the automotive specialist behind me is for Bill, Mr. Chris Steinbacher. So now we get to pick around at some of the engineering things. I always tell me this is how you start one of these cars. This is the starter here. <laughs> using that for years. In the car. <laughs> That's just a standard starter. That is so cool. It's a quick release. Oh, okay. So where's the extra boost button on here? <laughs> oh, they don't give Arya an extra boost button. Are oh, you can't no. be trusted with the extra boost? So this, so this is. Pretty rudimentary. Basic one for the basic. what we're doing here. This is probably a dash. That's the technology is probably 15 to 18 years old, <laughs> but it serves the purpose. Yeah. The two seater, um, the IndyCar steering wheel that you'll see the drivers race with is a lot more. Got all the other buttons. Yeah. yeah. This basically just has a few. This is to clear any sort of codes if I go over on RPM and I hit the limit. Oh, okay. It'll throw codes here. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll clear it with that. This is just the radio right here. Oh, for your headset? Drink uh, bottle that's been disabled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is just to go through the different pages once the car is turned on. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, so you'll see this, this car is actually a sequential. So all the modern cars are paddle shift. Yeah, yeah, so you can just be banging through the gears. Wow, that's it's awesome. Sequential, which is like what we use probably in the early 2000s. Yeah. Wow. So there's things, there's differences, obviously. But mm -hmm. Itself is really fairly new. It's only a few years old, and um, when they developed the first chassis for the two-seater um, to mimic the, the new Delara, it's actually uh, nearly a million dollars in development. Wow! Just for the first one. Damn! A lot of carbon. That's the same GoPro backup system that I use, like two zip ties around one of these plugs. Yeah, that's smart. Zip ties. So that's gonna be our onboard camera that's gonna, I wish it had sound, I wish it had sound. All right, it's time to suit up. Ah, the famous helmet putter on The famous helmet putter on I'm here to put the helmet on. Remind me your name again? Scott. This Scott. is Scott. And we're this gonna is who you've it. all seen. The yeah. most famous helmet putter on in all of IndyCar. I put more helmets on people than anyone on the face of this earth. <laughs> Let's do this, Scott. All right, man.
Did you want ours away? Yeah, in? yeah, for sure. Over the, the back of the five. You can even use the brakes because you don't feel the car slowing down. You just feel you, you just, just rip it in. You just brush them a little bit just to get the weight, weight on it. And then, yeah. 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 exactly. <laughs> that is pretty fun. That is Glad you liked it. And just like that, the race has started. That was, I don't know if you guys could hear that when I was talking with Ari, but that was just so incredible. When you go into these corners, like when you're going slow, you're kind of going around, we're pacing, we're warming up the tires. It's like, oh yeah, this is a really grippy car, but you have no idea once you go down that 150 mile an hour on the straight and then you just, really you don't feel the brakes happen at all. You don't feel a downshift, you just turn in. You just turn in and grip and you just go into the next one. Unbelievable. That was epic. All right guys, well the race is over and we are back at the hotel. That was such an amazing experience. That was really, really crazy driving around in that car. Huge thanks to Ari Jr. for having me out. That was so much fun. Everybody with the whole Honda crew just made us feel like so at home. Hospitality was great. It was a great way to watch a race. It's a great way to start a race, actually. You know what, as an official race starter that I am now, yeah, that's the, that's the way you start a race. That was so much fun. Thanks Honda for having us out. That was epic. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I, I learned some fun stuff about building cars too. It was really cool talking with the engineers and stuff. So that's it. Back on the build tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then. Peace! Come on.